Hello everyone, I am Ben here. Today I'm reviewing the Imperial Hover Tank. So, um, this is probably one of my favorite sets of the uh, Rogue One stuff. Um, mainly because it uh, stars my favorite character in the movie, Chirrut Imwi, the blind uh, monk kind of Jedi thing. <laughs> So yeah, let's jump right into the review. So the first thing we're going to uh, take a look at is the figures. So it comes with two of these incredible hover tank pilots, which look absolutely stunning. Um, uh, especially the helmet mold is really good. Um, the helmet mold is based off the Shore Trooper helmet mold. Oh, the Shore Trooper helmet in the movie. Um, but it works for the Tank Trooper too. I guess. Because they have very similar helmets anyway. Uh, uh, although the Shore Trooper, the, the, the helmet is a little bit more wider than the Shore. But whatever. It's what it is. So you get two of these. But yeah, they have amazing printing. Like, look at the legs. Those legs look amazing. And the torso as well. Now, one thing I noticed with all the Rogue One troopers is that they all have the same kind of torso design. Like, if I would take a Death Trooper, for example. Yeah, you can see the same torso design. And the same thing for the Short Trooper. But, you know, whatever. Talking about comparisons. Uh, let's compare it to a, a normal Stormtrooper too. You can see that... It's quite different, but not that much. Um, you know, it does fit well with just regular Stormtroopers. And that's one thing I really like about the new Rogue One stuff. So, uh, the next thing we're gonna... The next guy we're gonna take a look at is Chirrut Imwe. Uh, you know, he is a great figure. Like, I love the little um, cloth piece he has, his first kind of robes. Um, his staff is maybe a little bit too long, uh, but you know, like maybe if we just have, that's not what I wanted to do, but yeah, uh, the staff is a little bit too long. Maybe if you only have like one lightsaber, if it's like this, I don't know, but yeah, this is the staff. So, here it is, I think the likeness to John Donnie Yen is pretty cool, pretty accurate actually. Like, you recognize this as Donnie Yen. Um, talking about Donnie Yen, in the movie, he kind of smiled a lot. And I love that they gave um, Jared Emre a smiling... Um, a smile, a smiling expression. Like, it's really cool. So, uh, yeah. He also comes with um, his pretty cool crossbow, uh, which I really loved. Uh, like, it... It was so cool. I wish we got this gun in Battlefront or something. <laughs> but yeah, look at this. Look at this. This is just, this looks really cool. It might be a little bit too bulky, but I don't care. I don't care. It looks. It still looks pretty cool. So he does have a clip on the back to hold it. And if I remove his head, if I can remove his head, I can show you. Here's his back dorsal printing. Pretty similar, but. Pretty, you know, simple, but it works. Nah, no, not simple, what the hell am I talking about? <laughs> but yeah, it works for Jared anyway. He doesn't have any leg printing, so, you know. But yeah, that's Jared anyway, and the Hover Tank Pilot. Um, this is the back printing of the Hover Tank Pilot, if I haven't showed you yet. So, let's get the fears out of the way. Let's get this guy off the tank, too. I just put it up like that. Because it looks cool. It is not accurate how the movie is. But whatever. So here's the tank. Um, so basically this is how it is supposed to be. Like this. So this is a really cool tank. Like just look at this. It is a really good profile. And I love the profile. And I love this tank man. It's maybe a little bit too close to the ground. Like I would have. No no it's alright. It feels like a tank. You have a little thing here to mount a gun on, which is not really useful, but, you know. I just keep it down like that. Um, 
Let's go to the crate at the back. This crate at the back in a movie stores some pretty cool stuff. I'm not gonna spoil it for you. But I think it's safe to say by now you've seen the movie. Uh, <laughs> but here's the crate. Here it has, just has a simple blaster and binoculars in it. Nothing really special. We've seen those in almost every fucking set. <laughs> but yeah. Pretty cool crate. You also get another one of these crates in the Battle of Scarif set. Which I will be getting. So, you know, and there's two two spots for crates as well, so you can have two in there. Although in the movie it actually had three on it, but, you know. So, now on to, this thing has some articulation right here on these cannons. Pretty similar. And here is the knob. If you turn this, this brings out a shootable fire. Like, oh fuck. That was way too fast. Let's try the other one. Boom. <laughs> and you get an, uh, a spare one, a third one. So, yeah. Um, the inside of the tank is really cool. Um, it's really accessible. Like, you open the hatch at the top here. And at the front. And here's the inside. Y you can fit both the troopers in it. And, you know, remove their weapons. So, we just lay them down right here. And just place the troopers in there like this. And they're, 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 you're set for your, your hover tank. <laughs> and you're set basically. Boom. You're both in there, close it up, and the, there's your spare guns. You you have some clips on the side you can put your guns on. So. Like that. So. That was the set. Um. Uh, let, now let's go into the, um, the the extra pieces. Here is all the extra pieces it has. Um, quite a wide priority. I love that gold piece. But yeah, the gold piece with the hole in the middle. Pretty cool piece. Um, instruction manual. It ends at oh my god, how many things? Hundred. 33 There we go So it's quite a big thing, but it does have like four bags I believe I don't know So yeah, that's the instruction manuals uh, now to take a quick look at the box and then I'll wrap it up Here's the front of the box Imperial Assault Hover Tank. I just call it the Hover Tank. I don't know Sounds better Here's the back, you can see all the play features I went over. Um, oh yeah, it also has uh, translucent wheels at the bottom. So it can, kind of gives that hovering effect. Right, you can see it on the side. Um, but yeah, um, that's the set. Oh. Okay. So, if you enjoyed this video, leave a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. If you will give it a like, helps me out a bit. I don't know. Um, subscribe for more reviews. I have a more a Rogue One reviews coming up very soon. But until then, may the Force be with you. I'll catch you later.